Well, the first thing, I don't think that the results indicate any sort of antipathy between black voters and Senator Sanders. It's just a matter of a lack of familiarity. If you compare and contrast Senator Sanders with the other remaining candidates in the Democratic field, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has a lot of name recognition. She's been around Washington for a really long time. She's been a central figure in national politics for a really long time. And I think that leads to a very high name ID with all sorts of voters and not just African American voters. So she's coming in with some advantages in terms of a variety of different types of experiences in national politics with big name recognition, big money. Compare that with uh, former Governor O'Malley. He has executive experience, and that's the sort of thing that voters have tended to look for in presidential candidates, the idea being if you can run a state, then you might be able to run the nation. But he's also suffering from low name recognition with voters in this area. I think part of the reason why Senator Sanders is doing better is because he's been here. He's been to the state a couple of times, he's been to different areas within the state, and he's starting to do the sort of retail politics practices that can help you to build a rapport with voters. You know, sometimes in primary contests, there are not going to be a good number of policy differences between the folks competing for the nomination. This isn't one of those contests. I think the policy differences between Secretary Clinton and Senator Sanders are substantial. I also think that there are some personality differences between the two. And you can see the candidates sort of taking some jabs at one another as a way of distinguishing themselves from the rivals and also as a way of developing a rapport with potential voters. Well, I think there are, there are two points here. First, the, some members of the Black Lives Matter movement directly challenged Senator Sanders at a rally, interjected, tried to bring their issues to the fore, and then the campaign recalibrated. He met with some of the leaders of the movement, talked about those concerns, and developed the racial justice platform that looks at issues of mass incarceration, but also considers the civil disabilities that follow inmates when they try to reintegrate into the society, as well as some of the concerns about police misconduct, police brutality. As far as former Secretary Clinton is concerned, this has been a tough issue to negotiate because now with some time, people are starting to look more critically at the 1994 crime bill, which had a rather deleterious impact when you think about the growth of mass incarceration. That crime bill made more monies available to the states to either expand existing facilities or to build new correctional facilities. Um, millions upon millions of dollars for the expansion of criminal justice systems across the state. And that money was connected to a policy called truth and sentencing, which required inmates to serve a minimum of 85 percent of the sentence before being eligible for parole. And I think you've seen Secretary Clinton trying to chart out her own position, differentiate herself from her husband, and to move a bit to the left. I think that movement is a result of the presence of someone like Sanders in the primary. Well, Senator Sanders has a formidable battle in front of him if he's going to pull off an upset, right? Because Secretary Clinton's not going to make the same sort of mistakes that she made in 2008. In 2008, the campaign had an air of inevitability, and he, she even spoke in that manner as if it were a done deal. Having already suffered a tremendous upset, I think that this time around, her campaign is going to be a bit more shrewd, a bit more pragmatic, more calculating, for good reason. That makes it more difficult, I think, for an insurgency campaign to repeat what happened in 2008. Barack Obama is pretty moderate himself, both as a candidate, as a senator, and now as a president. Senator Sanders is different, and so you're offering voters an alternative. So you're not just choosing between two candidates that are rather similar on a number of important issues. You have a choice between candidates that are rather different on some of these major concerns. But because there were the missteps of 2008, that makes it more challenging for someone like Sanders to break in.